G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again for another Microsoft Word tutorial. This time around we are looking at text alignment and text spacing. So let's jump straight into this bad boy. We have four different settings for your text alignment. Up here you've got four little icons with different lines. Left, center, right, and justify. Now the two that are always forgotten and missed out are the center and the justify and these are probably the most important ones that you're going to ever use left justification or left alignment to me looks ugly as okay you can see all these spaces on the right hand side and things just look terrible so you could do two things first of all the heading looks all right but you could also center it you just click on the button you could actually just click on the line and change the justification of things okay and I personally think headings look good when they're centered, okay? Sometimes they look even better when they're on the left, but it's up to you what your preference is. But that is how you apply a different alignment, okay? You can also do whole paragraphs at a time. Okay? Oh, excuse me, just by highlighting and clicking the button, all right? And we can also change it back through that way. Anyway. Those are just the three alignments. Now the justify, what it does, is it tries to evenly distribute the text across a whole line. So this space at the end will try to be taken up and it increases the spaces between the words in your sentence. So if I just quickly highlight this paragraph, you can see there's a bit of a gap just here and it's gonna to try to fill that in. It won't try to fill this one in because it's the end of a sentence. Click justify and you can see it just spaced it out and it's just touching the edge of the page. Now that wasn't too obvious what it did there, it just seemed to push that line across. But what about these two paragraphs? Let's have a look at this one. So you see when I highlight it, there's all these different gap sizes. You click justify, nice and flush. And it makes things a little bit easier to read and it makes things look a lot neater when you have lots and lots of text down your screen. Okay? But anyway, that's pretty much your four justifications. Your left, center, right, and justified. Alright? Your Line and text spacing, however, right now everything is sort of clumped together and there's a space between the paragraphs which is automatically applied. All right, let's say we want to increase the line spacing just to make things a little bit spaced out and a little bit easier to read. You use this up and down arrow here which says line and paragraph spacing. Click on that. The first numbers you see are line spacings and you can see what they do. They just simply give you a space between your lines. Okay. So that's one and a half spaces, two spaces, two and a half, three. That's probably a bit too far. One and a half I think is not too bad. But if you go any bit further than that, things start to get a look a little bit jumbled. And it's it depends on what kind of document you're writing. Two might be really applicable to what you're doing. Okay? So that's the line spacing technique. One will give you absolutely no space. Default is 1.15. I like 1.5 for most things, personally. Anyway, the paragraph spacing is down here. It's space before paragraph and the space after paragraph. So it's automatically got a space after the paragraph. So you can sort of see the difference between this paragraph, the top one, and the middle one, and the bottom one. If I remove that space, it's sometimes really hard to sort of distinguish between them, okay? So if we add in a space, things look a bit better. If I add in a space above, things look a bit better again, I guess. And that's pretty much it. You can actually increase the spacing. If we go to line spacing options, we get a whole lot more. Okay? We get indentation options. We get spacing down here primarily. You get alignment up here. So let's focus on the spacing. Let's say I wanted to add even more spacing after. You simply increase that number. If you want even more line spacing, you can even change that down there. Let's just go OK. You can see how big that space is. And I can't actually click in that space either. Because it's part of this paragraph, just here. And this paragraph, and whoop, this paragraph. So anyway, that's pretty much all there is for line spacing and paragraph spacing. Have a go at it. Try around. Try some really different things. You might come up with some really weird sort of behaviors but for the moment that's it so you can like subscribe and comment down the bottom i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching everybody bye bye for now